Right, everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, in this video, we'll look at uh, the quotient rule of differentiation. Okay, so um, we're saying that if you have uh, a function y that is uh, that consists of a quotient of uh, functions of uh, x, that means this u is a function of x and v is also a function of x. So, how do you differentiate y with respect to x? Okay, so we said just in this case you keep v constant uh, multiply it with the derivative of u please <clears throat> note that this du here means uh, du dv sorry dx y dv here means uh, dv dx that is the derivative with respect to x okay so minus you keep u constant then multiply by the derivative of v then all over v squared please note that in unlike in product rule where we said that it is u dv plus v du. In this case, you can actually begin with any one. You can start with v du plus u dv because product uh, addition here is commutative. But in this case, subtraction is not commutative. So always make sure you start with v. So it is v du minus that v standing for the divisor in that quotient. Okay, quickly let's look at this example. So solution okay so to differentiate this now we recognize our u as usual our u is the numerator which is x squared and so we also need the u so let's immediately do that the u means differentiate x squared which is 2x and then our v is given as uh, 1 minus 5x so that means that the v differentiating this you just have minus 5 because 1 will give you 0 and if you differentiate minus 5x you will get minus 5 all right so let's come over here now that means if we state this is our formula so we want to substitute into this formula now v is uh, 1 minus 5x then multiplied by du which is 2x minus our u which is the x squared multiplied by dv which is minus 5 and so this is all over v squared we were squaring this okay so now the, we all we need to do now is to open up the bracket in the numerator and that's going to give us 2x because 2 multiplied this and then we multiply minus 5 to give us minus 10 x squared and then coming over to this side, minus x squared multiplying minus 5 will give us plus 5x squared. And this is all over 1 minus 5x all squared. And so from here, we are going to have now minus 10 plus 5 will give us minus 5. So this is 2x. Okay, and that's uh, our solution to this problem. So our dy dx is equal to this now we have the second example here the second example contains a trigonometric function and so we are asked to differentiate okay like i said earlier we're going to treat trigonometric functions their derivatives you know specially so here our u is cos x so that means our du will be the derivative of cos x is uh, minus sine x we're going to see this later is a standard derivative and then our v is x so that means our dv is equal to one if you differentiate x you will get one okay so we will recall our formula our formula says that we are assuming that this is y so dy dx is equal to v now what is our v here x du is minus sine x then minus what is our u? Our u is cos x. And then what's our dv1? All over v, which is x all squared. Okay, so if you come up here, you will see that we are going to have our dy dx to be equal to, if you multiply this, you will have minus x sine x. Then open up here, you will have minus cos x all over x squared. Okay, and this is our solution because there is nothing here to cancel. Assuming there is x here, we would have factorized x and then reduced it. 
okay so and that's the solution to example two so we look at example three in this case here we can see what our u is our u is containing a fraction now we can actually leave this fraction the way it is and solve and get an answer but because you have a quotient to make your your work easier it is better to remove this fraction and how do you remove the fraction simply multiply the numerator and denominator by the denominator of that fraction so if i multiply this whole fraction this whole numerator by x and then multiply it down by x i wouldn't have changed anything the equation remains the same because the x can still cancel away and if we do that so it means that our f of x will now be 3x minus if this x now multiplies this is going to cancel x so you just have one here all over then the x multiplying x here will be x squared plus 6x and so you see your equation now looks more beautiful for you to solve okay so we can begin now so our u is now 3x minus 1 and that means that our du is just 3 our v will now be x squared plus 6x and so that means the v alone will be equal to 2x plus 6. Our formula says that f prime of x, which is the differentiation of this, that's another way to write it, is equal to now our v is uh, x squared plus 6x. Now we're multiplying it with du, which is just 3. Then minus our u is uh, 3x minus 1. We are multiplying it with dv, which is uh, 2x plus 6. And everything is all over v, which is x squared plus 6x all squared. Okay, so we'll try to simplify the numerator to get a value. And what do we do? Open this bracket. That will give us 3x squared plus 18x. And then over here, you have a minus. Then you open a big bracket to use it to open these two brackets first. So 3x will multiply 2x to give us 6x squared. 3x will multiply 6 to give us 18x. Now we are done with 3x. We we'll go over to minus 1. Minus 1 times 2x will give us minus 2x. And minus 1 times 6 is minus 6. Okay, so uh, recall that this is all over. So from here, uh, we can try to now open this bracket. Finally, that will give us 3x squared plus 18x minus 6x squared minus, uh, this is 18x minus 2x is uh, 16x. So you are going to have minus 16x here. And then minus times uh, minus 6 will give us plus 6 all over x squared plus 6x all squared. Okay, so finally here, we can see that uh, this can, these two will more, uh, subtract. Therefore, our f prime of x is going to be 3x squared minus 6x squared is going to give us minus 3x squared. 18x minus uh, 16x will give us plus 2x. And then uh, we have plus 6. And that is over. And that is the solution to this problem okay so that is the simple approach to quotient rule find your u and v your u is the numerator v is the denominator now state your formula make your substitution and simplify to get the value for your derivative and that's where we will end it for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel here are youtube videos and youtube channel also now like uh, and comment on our youtube videos uh, we'll see you in our next video. Bye.